but you know, you know, we're just really focused on just really bouncing back, you know, not focusing on on that game. Now that game is over. You know, it's in the books now. All we gotta do is just look at the games and focus on our vision. Is there anything you can do to improve the run defense other than play better? Or is there scheme things you can do? Or is it just that simple? Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's not. It's never really simple going against a good team that does a lot of scheme. It's never that simple. Um, you know, what we what we really focused on because I mean, I know this team they do a lot. Of, they do a lot of pulling guards and centers, and uh, sort of built Dakota State. So you know, we're really focusing on just reading that key. You know, guy pulls, play your guy. You know, and that's what we're gonna do enough of last week. So that's what we're really focusing on. Rutgers does a lot like Dakota State. Yeah, similar. Yeah, so. With with that, how hard is it to be the aggressor and not the react or aggressive, not reactionary when teams are doing that kind of stuff and getting you out of your team? Are you saying how hard? Yeah, how hard is that to do and to keep yourself from being passive in those situations? Um, I mean, if you know what you're doing, it's not really that hard to really be the aggressor. I mean, you know, if you come in just watch tape, know what your guys are doing, then it's not it's not really that hard to be the aggressor. Did you see a lack of urgency at all? That um, I would say so, yeah, to a point. I mean, I mean, as a unit, I mean, there were some times where we, we played pretty okay, but as far as the entire 60 minutes, you know, it, it wasn't there, you know, like it, like it usually is. Um, so, you know, Coach Parker talks about it a lot. You know, we just need to really, you know, just come out, like, hungry, hungry than we were last week. Why do you think that is? Uh, I don't know. I can't. I can't tell you. I don't, I don't really know why. Or when you're in practice, how big a how big of a force is James Daniels when he's in center? We haven't seen him the last two weeks, but it sounds like he's a pretty big difference maker. Yeah, he, he is. I mean, you know, like I said, the guys that, that we had in uh, while he was out, they all did a fantastic job. So you know, you know, with James and the other guy being in. I mean, if one's out, the other comes in. You know, we're not missing a beat. You know, both those guys are just doing their job. They're doing a great job. Now.